what could be taking you hours to do, you can now do in minutes thanks to the CapCut AI video generator. And I thought it was just hype until I tried it out myself. Here is what I made. The word of the Lord came to Jonah son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it because its wickedness has come up before me. Yeah, so all that was made using the CapCut AI video generator and I didn't have to use any fancy editing skills. I just had to input a script and then I had my video. And in this video, I want to show you how to use the CapCut AI video generator. And I'm also going to include in some pro tips to ensure that you get the best out of it. So if you're ready to level up your videos, ensure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So first things first, we're going to address how to access it. So you can access CapCut online from their website or you can download it as a desktop version, which is what I prefer to use. So once you've downloaded it and you've signed in, we're going to go to where it says AI Video Maker here. So this is what we're going to be using to create our AI videos. And we have this dashboard here that says, welcome to the free all-in-one AI Video Maker. So at the time of recording, it's still free. So you can see some ways here in which you can use the AI Video Maker, but let me show you the easy one first. So when you scroll down, you're going to see Simplify Creations with AI Templates. So so this one is really easy because you're going to use the ready-made templates. Let's see this first one here. So this one is incredible animal facts. Did you know that the peacock's tail isn't actually blue? Its feathers have microscopic structures that bend light, creating that dazzling color. And if you look at the right hand side, you can see your template here. So it says create a video about, and then you have the first part, which is either crazy, fun, or interesting. So you can enter in any of those words, and then you have facts about, and then you have maybe animals, cities, nature, or buildings. Okay, so this is what we're going to start with. So we can have fun facts about, and I think we could uh, use something like cats. Yeah, so we'll have fun facts about cats and then click on create. You can see it tells us that it will take about a minute to create our video and you can also see the progress as that happens. So you can see it first creates a script, then it creates a voiceover and finally it generates the media. Now the best thing about this is that you can be able to edit any of those. So you can edit the script it creates, you can edit the voiceover it creates or even the voice that you want to be used in your video and you can even edit the media that it generates. So the generation is now done and this is what we have. So on the right hand side, we have the video that has been generated for us. Let's play it. Did you know that cats have more than 300 different vocalizations? It can purr, meow, hiss, growl, chirp, trill, and even scream. Ad. But did you know that they also have their own unique language? Just like dogs, cats can be trained to do tricks. They're not as easy to train as dogs, but with patience and positive reinforcement, you can teach them anything from sitting and staying to fetching and rolling over. Cats are excellent jumpers and can leap up to six times their height. Yeah, so that's our video. And then in the middle section, you can see we have the script and you can also see a preview of what each scene looks like. So that uh, little square is what each scene looks like and each scene is being matched to the particular script. So if you want, you can change either of them. So let's first of all uh, replace this media. Okay, so this is uh, for the first script part here. So I just want to change this a little bit just for you to appreciate that you can be able to make changes on this. So I'm going to change the style here, uh, maybe to photograph and uh, we can leave the aspect ratio to be that. And then in the description, description section, I'm going to use a really simple description. So I have a single cat walking into an African homestead. Yeah. And I have four generations here. I think I like this one. So we're just going to add that to the scene. So this is now going to be our very first scene for our video. Did you know that cats have more than 300 different vocalizations? You can purr, meow, hiss, growl, chirp, trill. Yeah, you have that as our first scene. You can also change the voice over here and even the elements that have been used to create the video. This could be maybe the captions. You can also change the music here. Yeah, and you have lots of music to choose from. Yeah, so that is one way for you to create your videos. But the feature that I wanted us to focus on in this video is using the instant AI video. So let me show you something really cool that you can use the CapCut AI video maker to generate Bible stories. Yeah, so you can see the instant AI video here. You can choose 
choose the style i'm going to go with biblical here and then the aspect ratio i'm going to go with 9 by 16 and then we can ask it to generate its own script so just going to type in story of jonah and the whale in the bible okay and then we're going to ensure that uh, we've chosen the voiceover that we want to use and also the duration of our video and then click on create yeah and this is what i got did you know there's a whale in the bible there's a story about a man named jonah who was swallowed by a whale Jonah was a prophet who God told to go to the city of Nineveh and preach to its people. But Jonah didn't want to go there. He didn't like the people of Nineveh. Yeah, and then I decided that I wanted to have a bit more control over what I was getting from our video. So I went to the online Bible Gateway and got the particular chapter that this story is gotten from. So I just copied all of that. And then I went back to the instant AI video. I chose my style as a realistic film for the aspect ratio. I went with 16 by 9. And then where it says enter script here, I now pasted in what I got from the online Bible Gateway. And then I chose a voiceover and asked it to create. And this is what I got. Jonah flees from the Lord 1. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai 2. So I realized that because I had picked the content from the online Bible Gateway exactly as it was and pasted it in here, then I had the numbers of the verses being mentioned. So I quickly um, edited that out so that I was left with the script as sort of a story. And then I decided to do something extra here. I added in an avatar so that our avatar would sort of be the one telling this story. Yeah, so this was my avatar and I asked it to replace for all of the scenes. And this is what I got. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it, because its wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. Yeah, so now we have a sort of storyteller telling our story and this makes it a bit more engaging, I would say, for the viewer. So I think this is something really cool. But even more to that is that you can actually change the media that is already there. Maybe you want it to generate a different AI image, then you can do that. And if you're done and you don't want to do any more edits, you can just export your video. But I want to show you that you can do even more editing for this so that you make it even more engaging for the viewer. You can go to where it says edit more here. And this is going to open for you the video inside of the CapCut video editor and now you're going to have liberty to change if you need to change the captions to resize the images inside of the video for example I decided that for my AI avatar I wanted him to be a bit smaller and maybe somewhere on the left hand side here you can decide to add even more images if you have your own images just to make the video of your own this is what I have for my final video the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it, because its wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down to Joppa, where he found a ship bound for that port. After paying the fare, he went aboard and sailed for Tarshish to flee from the Lord. Then the Lord sent a great wind on the sea, and such a violent storm arose that the ship threatened to break up. All the sailors were afraid, and each cried out to his own God. And they threw the cargo into the sea to lighten the ship. But Jonah had gone below deck, where he lay down and fell into a deep sleep. The captain went to him and said, How can you sleep? Get up and call on your God. Maybe he will take notice of us so that we will not perish. Then the sailors said to each other, Come, let us cast lots to find out who is responsible for this calamity. They cast lots, and the lot fell on Jonah. Eight, so they asked him, Tell us, who is responsible for making all this trouble for us? What kind of work do you do? Where do you come from? What is your country? From what people are you? He answered, I am a Hebrew, and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. This terrified them, and they asked, What have you done? The sea was getting rougher and rougher. So they asked him, What should we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? Pick me up and throw me into the sea, he replied and it will become calm. I know that it is my fault that this great storm has come upon you. Instead, the men did their best to roll back to land. But they could not, 
for the sea grew even wilder than before. Then they cried out to the Lord, Please, Lord, do not let us die for taking this man's life. Do not hold us accountable for killing an innocent man, for you, Lord, have done as you pleased. Then they took Jonah and threw him overboard, and the raging sea grew calm. At this the men greatly feared the Lord, and they offered a sacrifice to the Lord and made vows to him. Yeah, so I did that and I was totally blown away. I think CapCut has totally changed the game for creating AI videos. But let me know in the comments down below what you thought of that. If you want to watch more on how to create AI videos, ensure you watch the video on the screen and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. My name is Paris and I'll catch you on the next one.